Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia HD Blind, with your host, Damiel SC. I'm looking for the city, but I just happened to see this sitting here, and I want to know what it is. Apparently it's a battle. Oh man. Alright, let's go. Um, this might be a really bad battle. Real quick, I just want to jump, jump, jump in here and see what this is. Because I'm curious. Can we swap in people that are healthy? Just, I don't know if there's enemies in here or not. I just saw it and I was curious. Okay, apparently it is a whole bunch of nothing. Good to know. Now if I die on the way out, I can just reload the game and not come here. But you know what? I saw it, it looked unique, and I decided to go do it. I got decided to see what I could see. On the boat, quickly! So we're looking for... Palimpo, or whatever it's called. Um, and I have no idea where the friggin' thing would be. I was sort of sailing along and I found a ghost ship, which was cool. And then I saved as soon as I got past the ghost ship. But I'm going to keep going this way I'm going to hopefully find the place. I will see you all when I actually get there. Because I definitely want to get there. Okay, and go off onto these apparently rough seas. Um... Those are rocks. It's like, is that the end of the city? No. They kind of still just sent me off looking for a place, and I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just kind of assumed I'd run into a harbor. But so far, that assumption has been in vain. Well, it's very foggy. But yeah. Um, I will see you when I find it, or at least when I find something. Here's a something. No, that's not really anything. I'm very sure that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. But I am getting the map sketched out pretty well. So there are pluses in this. Well, here's something. That's definitely a town of some description. So there's Nordapolica. Okay, I found it. Hooray! Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility is a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest. Once? Oh, come on. There's gotta be a Colosseum in this game. There always is. Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palestrale and has become a city of entertainment. Oh, well, I'm definitely gonna hang out there then. Yeah. It's the Gold Saucer. Palestrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and... How pretty. So, party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Since when are you on vacation? <laughs> Since he's coming along with us. Hey, it's actually kind of like a vacation. You go along, you don't have to make any decisions. Oh yeah, right. A minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. 
<laughs> oh, really, Carol? Did you feel? Did you really feel the need to tell him, "Hey, you work for the Dawn. Don't be mean." Um, dude, he, this is his job. He's been doing this for a long time. We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Viertia belongs to you. See, again, someone was like, "Did you forget you could get off at beaches?" No, I didn't forget I could get off at beaches. But the agreement was we get to here and then we take over the ship. So it'd be really rude to just use it for whatever I wanted to in the meantime. Thanks. We'll take good care of her. So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west. Of Remember that, me. Far to the west. Well, that's kind of the reason we have the boat. I don't think that's well, never mind. Possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there will be a place to more boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Rita, you're not her mom. Dropping anchor. Coliseum City, Nuropolica. It's interesting that they still keep that name, even though they aren't really using the Coliseum that way anymore. Although they probably still are. Good work. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. You're a huge. Help. She gave us a boat, Carol. She's not actually a help. She basically stood back and had us do all the work. Right. Mutual back scratching and all that. It's an honor to, to you look like a bum. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises Wait, that's the, the guild boss? The, the excavation of ruins is what I... Hold on, if this is... Okay, no, 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 no never mind. I was for a thinking that was, um... What is this, Beartus? Whatever, the, like, chief of the city's name? But no, that that's the entertainment guild. This is the ruin guild. That's why he's so, oh my goodness, because of course she's the head of one of the five big guilds. It's kind of like how Carol was around the dawn. That's actually a decent question, though. The five big guilds. We know there's the Merchant Guild, run by Kaufman. Um, there was the Blood Alliance, which, of course, we killed the leader of. There's the Dawn, who ran Altus. Do we know what the other two big guilds are? One of them might be the... Um, Oh, that Assassin's Guild. One of them might be the Assassin's Guild. The people that were chasing us. Um, and I, I have no idea who the fifth one is. I'm sure we'll find out. I assume it is not um, the Hunting Blades. That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That's yeah, didn't we run into some of them back in the ruins? They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse me... He seems like, he seems like he's scared out of his mind. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. That is a awfully quick snap judgment, though. Typically, whenever there's a possibility, you investigate it. As a matter of course. And she didn't even answer. She didn't say why she thought that. Interesting. Say hi to Tokunaga for me, too. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Do we need to register our guild anywhere, or do we just say, Hi, we're a guild. Our name is Tidal Wave. Selling Blastia on the black market? That is so well, Rita, I'm sure that's been going on for a long time. Anything that has value can be bought on the black market. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh, yeah, your letter. Bellius, that's his name. Right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, I've only heard rumors, but... Uh... What, Bellius doesn't like being asked random questions about some monster? I wouldn't blame them, actually. What? Is something wrong? Bellius has a thing for kids, Carol. Huh? Nah, it's nothing. 
Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Palastrala. Just what sort of person is this Bellius exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now. I'm sure there will be nothing like the Dawn, because that would be boring. This is my first time visiting the Colosseum. I think excitement of it all overwhelmed me a bit. The night breeze from the ocean feels marvelous. It calmed me right down. Hey, man. Nothing like a quiet night to soothe a wearied soul. Want some tips? Excuse me if I'm not overly excited. I'm my only customer so far. Oh, this is something. Friends! Did you eat? Did you, did you come to eat the bangataki too? Bangataki? That's a type of fish, right? Is it any good? It used to be as bad as rim soaked boot. You couldn't eat it if you tried, but now it's rather tasty. You say the fish used to be bad, and now it's good? Aye! It was a wee gimmick fish with not a bit of ugliness, but it got all nice and fat all of a sudden. It makes a right bra made all. This could be caused by local air imbalance as well. I wonder if there's an air crinae at the bottom of the ocean. Judy... Not again. It's terrible! Hurry! Eh? What's this all the hub of a boot? Well, I don't know any details, but the blessing has been destroyed. Who do a thing like that? No one saw their face, but apparently it was someone wielding a spear. A spear? That's the dragon freak! Oh, Rita. <laughs> Rita's always running off to play at one place or another. Isn't that right, Judy? Uh, Judy? I think Judy's very much the same way, to be honest. Eh? I don't think that's true. Well, where were you? A very nice gentleman invited me out to tea. What? Inconceivable. We don't need your commentary, old man. It seems like there's some commotion going on. Did something happen? Part of me wonders if... Rita, I mean, I'm sure Rita will eventually catch on to this, but at the same time, all that Rita really, really knows is that um, wherever she goes, blasts are getting destroyed. And I don't think she would connect it to someone else in the party necessarily. A blast was destroyed by the same Dragon Riders last time. Oh, how frightening! Yeah, I'll bet you're scared, scared stiff. It was, tor it was torn to pieces. Damn it, I swear I'm gonna make a permanent imprint on my fist in that Dragon Freak's face! I'm surprised they don't ever talk and find out why she does that, because as far as we know, she doesn't. It's just something she does. Colosseum just looks huge from here, huh? I mean, there are some folks that live there, so I guess that's to be expected. I don't know. Oh, okay, that leaves town. Good to know. So we explored that way, and we found a random scene with Rita. Random scene with Rita! Hey, what are you doing? No one will believe me, but I saw it. I, d I saw the answer with my own eyes, plain as day. Yes, it was on a night like tonight, with a foul wind blowing. Oh, jeez. There's monsters here. Well, hello. I came to Desir to explore the lands to the west of here and search for my heritage as a Critian. But the road through the mountains is out, and I was denied passage. Well, you want to come with me? It's the statue of Nik of Samotrak. It was built as the goddess of victory for the arena. Wow, this is not a very big place. It's just the Colosseum. I figured they have casinos and all sorts of stuff. This town's a treasure trove of information. We have a long storied history, thanks for that. The more I study, the more the machinations of the world grow clear to me. Late night visitors, I see. A welcome to North Polycia's hotel facility. 
The cost is 500 gold per, gold per night. Sure. I'm sure I have that. I just went through a d dungeon ish area. So I'm probably not broke anymore. So. Now I've used Judith, and I've used Raven. Time to go back to the character I'm actually the best with. And Rita, you are definitely in the party. I think this is going to be my primary party. These ones I get along the way. I, I like Ray I like all the characters, but these are the ones I get along with the best. I should actually save, shouldn't I? That would be one of those things that would be good to do. Okay. I like lost track of where I was for a second. Hey, man. Good day. Oh, no, I don't. It's a fortune's market. First, okay. Orange gel is good. And life bottle. Jeez, that will just about bankrupt me. No, I'm 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 gonna leave that alone. Because I want to be able to buy weaponry. So that's better. It has happiness. Once again, I'm not sure. I think if the picture isn't there, it means we don't have it. So I want that. That's for Carol, so I don't care as much about it. Perfect green, but uh, you have stuff I don't have yet. Snipe Ziphos. I don't really care about that necessarily. Trident I want. Oh, I'm out. Okay, so which of these do I need? Man, I can make so much stuff. That I can make. Let's just wait. I mean, I, I let, let's focus on the ones for the characters I actually use. So I don't have that yet, and I don't care about it. I'm never using those abilities. Speed charge and secondary attack. We have that, we have that, we have that. We have that, we have that. We do not have those, so let's get that. Okay. Sorry if that wasn't very interesting. Hopefully it didn't take too long. This is the world's one and only Coliseum. There's plenty of folk hopes going to go far and wide just catch a glimpse of it. You look like you've come a pretty long way yourself. Of course, anyone can tell that seeing as you're built on the scruffy side. I'm a member of the Palestrade, the guy that governs the city. I'm on patrol tonight, as usual. Well, not very well. Logically, this should be the offices, because the guy's office isn't going to be in the Coliseum proper. Why, hello, ladies. This registration is for a new style of tournament. We ask for your patience as we finish the necessary preparations. Aha, okay. So this is actually the Coliseum. Well, hello there, Mr. Chef. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'm going through a lot of glasses. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Kebab sandwich. I'll give you this so you can practice. Gotta go till we meet again. I guess I should spend my last bit of money on ingredients, because I never do. 
So let's see here real quick. Cooking. So first of all, sandwich HP attack. Increases attack moderately. Physical defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, and TP. So we want sorbet and kebab sandwiches. So that takes bread, beef, lettuce, and tomatoes. This takes fruit and milk. I could use some more milk, but I've got a lot of fruit. And I've got a decent number of those. I could use some more bread and beef. Beef and... There we go. Just about bankrupt myself. Now let's go. Now that I have no money, let's go talk to the dude. Wait, how do we talk to the dude? I thought there was an entrance here, but there does not seem to be. That's the end that I already stayed at. Hmm. Okay, now I'm confused. I get to Bellius. Okay, I just had to go past the Lord Bellius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild. Carol. No, this is Raven. He has a message from the dawn. Carol, holy crap! How out of touch are you? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nance. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night what? of the new moon. So Bellius is a werewolf. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? It's amazing how much diplomacy gets in the way. I mean, because you think about it, and it's like, okay, well, we have a messenger from Don Whitehorse, the head of a, you know, the other guild city. We have the heir to the throne. That sucks, though. That means she only meets people every 28 days. Assuming the moon is the same as it is here. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? You don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the air crane myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that. That is very true. Day. You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going too. Only those entering the contest are allowed to enter. Okay. I don't know about a city this size. It's actually a pretty small city. TBQH. She's really got a Coliseum. Wait, what? I missed the first part. It's not a guy, it's a place. Why are the, the 
Oh, so the knights are here. In this town. If we leave it as this discipline we worked so hard to build, the Colosseum will collapse. Why are there knights here? That is a very valid question. And I am... Unless they're following Estelle, I don't know why the knights would be here. The knights went rushing to the Colosseum for some reason. It would seem that something quite serious is happening. So do I keep going out, or do I go back in the Colosseum? Because I'm in the Colosseum right now, aren't I? Well, nothing. No talk about the knights out here yet. A town with a Colosseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri. But I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child. Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind. You're definitely a watcher, Raven. Okay, so I'm not getting anything about the knights out here, so I am going to go back into the Coliseum. It's weird that I was in the Coliseum, and then when I walked out, they told me the whole bunch of knights just ran in. Kind of feels like there was a missed scene or something. Unless that happened before I got here, but if so, why did they wait to tell me until afterwards? Tell me something. Okay, so there's nothing in here about it. That's weird. Why did the knights just suddenly show up? Or why did they suddenly start talking about the knights if I can't do anything about the fact that there are knights? I am confused and concerned and bewildered and perplexed. Perplexed is totally a word. But that does again. Why would the knights come all the way here? Because... I don't think it is just to chase after Estelle. They haven't been chasing after Estelle the whole game. So it wouldn't make sense for them to start now. Where is that coming from? Wherever it is, it looks like that thing broke off. And fell to there. It's a really nice detail. I like it. This is my ship. So where am I supposed to go to get information? Because the city, like I said, is not that big. So we have to go to the inn? Because there's nothing out here about anything. But yeah, there's nothing going on here. Nothing going on but the rent. So I'll run this way. Stay at the inn. Hopefully there's a scene when I wake up. Hopefully something's going on. I'd appreciate that. I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. Did a cynical old man come in? Oh, he's a friend of yours? I didn't think he had friends. Your rooms have already been paid for. Thank goodness. So please, make yourselves at home. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We earned a good night's sleep. We earned a good night's sleep, so you get up and you walk over and you look at a ship. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. 
Well, gee, I wonder if they're important. The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison. Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. <laughs> wow, Yuri, that's smooth. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The star? The brightest star in the night. Oh, that is right, I forgot what it was. There's an old story. Oh, do tell. Star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of I guarantee you this is important. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. That is really creepy. I don't I know this had nothing to do with it, but as soon as she started talking about that, I thought about um Martell and um oh I forget his name the 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 evil one in Symphonia um I know Martell was it just was one aspect of the actual Martell but still it's just brother and sister show up and save the world and then it ends up you know they take care of the world one of them goes freaking cuckoo <laughs> obviously not what this game is about but still it's just ugh. the sister they called child of the full moon after the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. Well, in that sense then, it, if we're Brave Vesperia, then we also, also are best represented by the new moon, because our sister is the full moon. The end. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying. I do have to wonder a little bit, um, or not really wonder, but this is the first Hills game that I know of that really explained its name in the course of the game, which is interesting. And I also wonder, what does Estelle think about Rita's weird fascination? Because as it goes further and further, it seems more and more like Estelle's just sort of whatever. Okay, but we are at the 30-minute mark. I will save here. Um, today, we will find out why the Knights went to the Colosseum. Or today, next time, we'll find out why the Knights went to the Colosseum, research all the various and sundry things that we're supposed to find in the Colosseum, and probably set out to somewhere else, since we can't be here yet. <laughs> Me and my 14 gold. Wow. I sure do live at the edge of my pants. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you all next time for Let's Play Tales of Vesperia HD Blind with your host, Damiel SC. Thank you very much for tuning in. You guys continue to be awesome.